Hi everyone and welcome back to Warno. Today we're in round two of the July tournament and we are watching Lathans vs Medi. Now Lathans tagged me in these with the comment, I have no honour. So he's going to be misbehaving in at least one of these games I'm sure and I can see immediately. He's playing as the eighth in blue and he's brought out three Alpha Jets straight away. He's got two choppers out. It's not too exciting in and of itself. So it may be the second game that he's misbehaving more, but he's obviously said that deliberately because he knows I'm going to call him out for misbehaving with something. Medi is playing as the 39th Infantry, a side we all know and love. They're very, very good as far as Pact goes. They're one of the preferred sides. MiG-23 coming out there to try and deal with these Alpha Jets. Alpha Jets certainly not doing a bad job, certainly getting some shots off, doing some damage have stopped any early push happening on Alpha, that's for sure, and did also kill a chopper that was up at Charlie. So, certainly effective. He has lost one of those, though, but I think the other two have got out unscathed. MiG-23 will be happy with its single kill, at least. Couple of tank guns all the way back here. Not entirely sure if that was deliberate. Are they still moving? Yes, they are being wheeled very slowly. I wonder if he accidentally deployed those. He can still reattach them to a vehicle. At least when we did testing previously, you could still reattach towed stuff to vehicles. We did try to attach a towed weapon to an APC, and it kind of bugged out. But it did try to attach itself. So, what have we got? This is your standard two legs. This side of the map, as in Medi, has got control of this point, and Lathans has got control of this point, and each have respective control of their back points. That's pretty standard. It's nice to see... Actually, no, I thought there was honestly some recon back here protecting that TV, but there's nothing there. Uh, and there's actually nothing at this side either. We're back again to people not protecting their uh, CVs at the back, so I can fully expect to see someone getting their CV popped during this game. Razvedka here for Medi, but that is all. I mean, those Alpha Jets certainly dealt with the early push of units there. There are lots of reinforcements coming in down this way now. Equally, we can see plenty of reinforcements coming in at the top for Lathans. Obviously, Lathans' intent will be eventually to push down through all of these trees here to get into Charlie. He's also pushing out slowly from Alpha. It's good to get a little bit of a forward defensive position, preferably controlling this town if possible. And this tree line here, if you control this forest, you can stop reinforcements coming down this road. You get some tanks in there, you can shoot anything that comes along, ATGMs, you know, all of that stuff with nice long range just stops those reinforcements. It also makes it difficult to push through this forest here because this lovely little forest gets very thin at this point so you can shoot across into it. Nice grouping of units here. Some cheaper M60s coming in there. Got an M1 Abrams or two down here. And we still got these Cobras, which I think... Are they... They're not... Oh, they might be landed and rearming. I don't think we've seen them do a huge amount, to be honest. I think they got a little bit involved at the start. But Medi is pushing hard on Alpha. Or oh, that'll be the plan by the looks of it, because he's bringing in a lot of reinforcements there. Another couple of M60s coming in towards Alpha there, and here we go, a Seed Jet and a Fighting Falcon. Some Mortars in there as well for Medi. He's the MiG-23. Raven is going for something. Went for the Cub. Missed. Taking fire now from the MiG-23. Raven is damaged. It's still flying around though. MiG-23 is dead. Fighting Falcon did his job. Seed going for the second shot, and it got it. Very nicely done. Medi obviously not microwing that at the time, as it got both shots off. Unlucky Medi. I didn't think he would risk going for a second pass, but he did. Here we go. Push from Lathans here. Pushing out now. Going to meet Medi in the field. Not having any of this him pushing back towards Alpha nonsense. Making good use of these Abrams. Obviously, Mortar's dropping behind the infantry now. T-62 there in a good position. But obviously, 
won't be much of a match for the Abrams if the Abrams can get into range. But the Abrams does need to push forward a bit more. And this Abrams could do with being up that way a bit as well. Engineers, great units, but need to be using their satchel charge preferably. This one's nearly out of satchel charges, actually. This one could do with being pushed up a bit more. Got to be careful with these guys, because they have PKMs. PKMs do have a minimum range now, I understand. So, they're okay at the minute, they are firing. But if they get too close, they don't fire. Up here at the top of the map. Got a little bit of a push from Lathans now. He's keeping the pressure up at multiple points. Now, what we saw in the first round from Lathans, and I was very impressed with, is that he kept pressure up on every point of the map all the time. There was no stopping his war machine. And that's very impressive. It's not something we see many players achieve. It's the sort of thing we expect from the likes of Karma, from Derek, people like that. It's a very difficult task to, you know, multitask a push on every part of the map. Usually, most players will push one area and their opponent will end up pushing the other. But this was very much Lathans being aggressive across the whole thing. And again, we're seeing that here. He's pushing out from Alpha while also making a push on Charlie. And this means that Medi needs to make careful choices about where he brings in reinforcements. Alpha Jet's coming in at the top here. We'll be taking on Iglers, but Iglers aren't great. He might get a kill, though. Did they actually drop their bombs? They're both being evac. That one is low ammo, so it might have dropped. Another MiG-23 coming in. A second one has been bought by Medi. Good choice. Just adds to scaring off Lathans and his aircraft. Though the Fighting Falcon is in again. Will it get the kill a second time? MiG-23 should get out. Yeah, it will get out intact. A little bit of damage, I'm sure. So, a bit of a stalemate down at the bottom now. So, Lathans has pushed as hard as he can within reason, but isn't making much progress. And there are more reinforcements arriving, and there is now a T-80B coming in for Medi. Very nice tank. A little bit better than the T-62. Is the T-62 alive? Yes, it is. It is still sat there. Up at the top, we see that Lathans has actually lost a lot of his units that he was pushing with. I'm not sure how much damage he's realistically done to Medi there, but... Uh, Push certainly hasn't gone great at the top, but he's still in firm control here. Equally, we can say that, well, Medi's push at the bottom hasn't exactly gone to plan, as he is being held off quite far in front of Alpha. Now, what I would say is right now, as much as I admire Lathan's purely aggressive nature in these games, he's keeping these two M60s really far back. I don't know if he's forgotten he's brought them in or not, but uh, they could be moved a bit further forward. Maybe to this tree line here, just, you know, f so they have a bit of extra firepower, because the closer they are, the more damage they're going to do. They, they have kinetic weapons, you can see there on the little unit tab, so the closer it is, the more damage they will do. So they're in, you know, better position if they're up here, not to mention they can, you know, see out across this field. Interesting, Medi bringing in a rocket attack chopper now. Cobras are still alive and sat in Alpha. Some anti-air coming up. There's an IHOC coming in there. Ah, M60's on the move now. BMP3 just being killed there by the Jaeger squad. Up here, slow progress perhaps, but not really getting much progression for Lathans. Down here, very nice use of this chopper, but it is going to be taking fire from Stingers and eventually this Pivads. It's also probably taking fire from some ground units. Yeah, Stingers got a nice shot on it there. Stingers are reloading and will fire again. SG-25 AT. The P Uritana Special coming in there. I'm not sure what it was going for. Possibly the Bradley, possibly the M60. Fighting Falcon coming in to take that out, but the Fighting Falcon will be at risk from ground. Oh, wow, and it is dead. I think the SU-25 killed it. Possibly with some support from the Iglers on the ground, but... I think the SU-25 actually got that shot off. SU-25s, man. Still ridiculously good at times. That little bit of extra armor and stuff just makes all the difference. 
Make 23 in again, going for that Raven. Raven already damaged. He is evacuating it. I think it will get out. Oh, and the IHOC got the kill. That is one very dead MiG-23. So that's the second MiG-23. I'm not sure how many Medi will have in his deck. But he will be hurting now in terms of his anti-air capabilities. He'll be concentrating more on bringing in the ground stuff. Another chopper coming in. An AA chopper there. He had an MI-24 in at the start. Which got killed by the early doors spam of HE jets. A little bit of progress for Lathant here to some extent. He is getting a little bit of progress. He's now through the other side of the buildings into the forest. He has moved those tanks up as I suggested. It's like he could hear me. Cobra's being moved up here to take out these infantry here. Very good use of those Cobras. Is one of the Cobras dead? I believe one of the Cobras has been killed. Yep, yeah, it's dead on the ground there I think. Not surprising there. He did go up against Iglas and things. Fighting Falcon in there. Obviously taking out that chopper. Indeed, the chopper is dead. I mean, this is quite the hectic game. And I'm going to say this with all of Lathan's games. I'm just expecting it to be hectic. Because he is literally moving units everywhere on the map. And that is a difficult thing to achieve. I mean, you can't be zoomed right in. Like a lot of us, when we play, we're zoomed in a little bit more. And moving units around an area. Lathan's has to be zoomed out. I'd love to see it from his side, because he can't possibly be zoomed in. He must be zoomed out looking at the entire map. But I, I, I must say it again, as I did in the first round, I'm very impressed with Lathans here. He's doing a really good job. Raven coming in again, getting some shots off, has killed the anti-air that was in there. Oh, there is an MI-24 AA chopper there. Maybe it is still alive, it was just hiding. Another MiG-23 has managed to kill that. We'll be very pleased about taking out that seed jet. Clearly has a few MiG-23s up his sleeve still. Loads of T-62s coming in to help defend, but look at this. Lathans is making slow but sure progress. He is getting ever closer to Charlie. Whereas down at the bottom here, we can see that unfortunately for Medi, he's not getting any closer to Alpha. If anything, he's getting further and further away. And now we see the typical maneuver, which is that Lafans is now going to push up here. And if he can get up here, he can cut off this supply road and take out units coming in to reinforce Charlie. That is the eventual aim of the player that is pushing out from this point. Obviously, at the same time, he needs to be aware that there are units here which will be wanting to push into Alpha. And honestly, he's not got anything left down here. He's got a supply truck and pivads. They're not going to stop any of these Sapri, really. They're not going to stop a tank. Actually, I take that back. Pivads might actually stop a Sapri because they're not going to be able to kill it easily. But they certainly won't be able to stop the tank. T-80 is still alive here, getting some shots off on the T... Sorry, the M-60s. Don't know why I wanted to call that a T-60. Have they actually taken damage? The Abrams is the one that's taken damage there. Must have got a side shot on it. Equally, the T-80 has taken damage. But, you know, both players somewhat thin on the ground in terms of units down here. It has been whittled away. Both sort of concentrating on bringing in reinforcements here. M-1 Abrams pushing in this side of Charlie as well. And this is the other thing about Lathans. He's not just pushing from one side of this point. He's not just coming from the top like a lot of players would. He's also now pushing at this side. So he's coming in directly from the side of the point. And let's not forget, he's pushing down here as well. Which means that, again, he's forcing Medi to have to decide, do I send units up to the top part of Charlie? Do I send them to the center of Charlie or the bottom part? Or do I send them down here to stop them cutting off my reinforcements? SG-25 AT coming in again for Medi there is going to be going for these tanks. It's veered off. That's a shame. I don't know if that's because they pulled back or what. They have pulled back. He must have... Lathans must have noticed that there. He hasn't actually moved the uh, M1 Abrams though. Is he leaving it there as bait? I'm not sure. Cluster bomber coming in there. Two cluster bombers. It's just the F-16C which only have two bombs. So you have to be pretty accurate. Managed to stun the T-62, but I don't think it killed it. Rasvedka taking a lot of fire from the Abrams there. Certainly looking like Lafans with the upper hand here. 24 minutes left to go in the game. But you can never say it's all over. 
It just takes Mehdi killing off this assault for him then to push back and take the game. I'm loving this though from Mehdi. Razvedka around the back. One squad all the way up here. One squad right around the back. If he can just get past all these units coming in and kill that CV, just makes a little bit of difference. Obviously, Lathan's already got that advantage in terms of points. So it wouldn't hurt to kill that CV with the Razvedka and just get a little bit of point bonus going on. Obviously, let's be honest, Lathan's is going to replace that pretty quickly because he needs that to bring in reinforcements for Charlie. Another jet loss there for Medi in the centre of the map. Good spread of Ihawks, Pivads and other anti-air units, Stingers and the like. Going on for Lafans. And here we go. This is where we're talking about this complete encirclement by Lafans. And yes, Lafans is losing many units in this assault. Just as Medi is losing many units. But look at this, he's pushed right around the back, he is cutting off this reinforcement road. And that's what he needs to do, he knows what he's doing here. But look down here, we do have this push, but... The issue is... Sapri, certainly not bad units, but they're going to struggle to kill the... Oh wow, they are actually doing damage to the Pivads. Is its armour light enough? That the Satchel Charges actually damage it now. That uh, is a distinct possibility. It is dead. Well. Colour me impressed. I did not expect the Sapri Satchel Charges to penetrate vehicle armour. So, lesson there. You can now use Satchel Charges to kill vehicles with low armour. I think they've always done a bit of damage, but I wasn't expecting them to do quite that much. I've always pictured them as more of an anti-infantry tool in this game, but that's that's very helpful to know. Obviously, not convinced they'll do much damage to a tank, but nice to know. HE Alpha Jet in here, and another MiG-23. <laughs> Taken fire, though. Alpha Jet trying to go for it, I think, there. Alpha Jet could die here. It's going over the Igles. If the Igles get a shot off... No, it's out of range. Look at this beautiful... Dealing with all these reinforcements coming in, including this T-62. SG-25 coming in to try and take out these tanks now. It's flown straight over the top of them. Where's it going? No, Medi, no! I think Medi is just completely overwhelmed now. Look at all these reinforcements. And a command coming in. Lafan's taking no prisoners. Command straight in the corner of the point. Reinforcements arrive for Lathans around the back here. Not the best thing to send in against Sapri. I'm assuming he knows that's what's there. Fighting Falcon going in against that SU-25. The SU-25 may have got a kill. Although it might have been the T-62. Those two Abrams pushing down though now. Will make it very hard for any push to happen here now against this point. Nothing, oh, there's a tank, I was about to say nothing coming in down here, but a tank suddenly appeared in Echo for Medi, but I think Medi is now in trouble. 21 minutes to go, look at this spam of infantry reinforcements coming in for Lathans. Lathans, have you been getting special lessons of Karma or someone? Because your micro capability has gone off the charts. Very, very impressed. I'm quite curious how Lathans would handle playing on a large map in a 1v1. Obviously, we've seen him play on two ways in the previous round, where he was getting managing to be aggressive over the entire map, which is bigger than this one in terms of, you know, areas you have to cover. Very curious about an even bigger map. If he could keep up with doing that over an entire map. Because this is a, a fantastic way to overwhelm most players. Not many people can concentrate on the entire map and defending and being aggressive and pushing back on an entire map. It is a really difficult thing to do. So, I know I couldn't do it. I would really struggle against someone like Lafans who can push me everywhere. 
I just find it too hectic. H bomb we're coming in for Medi now to try and take out some of these units, but honestly, look at the amount of blue up in this area now. There isn't a huge amount down here, but there's enough to defend. Razvedka pushing around the back there, wanting to get a piece of this CV, but I'm not sure he's going to get there. 24 minutes left to go, and I just don't see any way that Medi is going to push back in. F-16C clusters just flittering around there. I don't know if they're just there for fun, targets of opportunity. Strella down here still. Some aero rifles coming in there. Multiple error. Is he going to misbehave here and get them around the back? How many error rifle squads are there? Just two. I'll let him off. I thought it was like four stacked on top of each other. I'm expecting these to go around the back and go to Echo. I'll be really surprised if these don't go for a kill on the command in Echo. Like, really surprised. That No, I take it back. There's another squad of error rifles and another squad. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Well, in fairness, Lathans, as meme as it is spamming air rifles, you've left it till right at the end of the game when you've pretty much already won this game. It would be very difficult, if impossible, for Medi to pull this back. So, go nuts. I'm not I'm not going to pick fault with you for uh, memeing uh, or being cheesy at this point at all. You can You can certainly get away with that. And to be fair, you're not even really using them in a meme way because that would be to fly them over an enemy point and get them all shot down. Which, to be fair, doesn't work as well anymore because now there's no guarantee the infantry survive the choppers being blown up. So they have made that adjustment finally. You might get half a squad landing alive or they might just die. So we're more in the right direction. I'm a little bit happier about it. It grinds my gears a little bit less. We can just sit back now. We watch this unfold. These mech rifles still just pushing around this area for Lafans. Sapri now pushing up in here. He could kill that CV. Here go the massive arrow rifles. Four squad still feels like a lot of arrow rifles. Oh, there's defense there though. Medi got some Iglers in some good positions. No one ever puts one here. See, when I play this map, generally... I put some kind of Igla or Manpad team down here and a recon squad so that they can see any choppers that come this way and shoot at them. But not many people seem to. I think it's easier to defend this side because it's water all the way here to the point. Whereas I think here it's such a mess of trees, even if you put some, you know, some recon and anti air there, which I certainly have done. They can still sort of come around this way, so it's harder to defend against that for that point. But here, a Nigla or something here and a recon team stop a lot of choppers and stuff coming this way. Oh, interesting. So what he's actually doing with the air rifles is stopping reinforcements coming in. I like it. Not just going for the CV. He's dropping them off to stop reinforcements. HG Bomber coming in there. I don't know if it was just going for that Raven or if it was going to try and bomb these. Swinging back round. Going to get shot at. Oh. That'll need to evac. 50 minutes to go. It's likely going to be a points win for Lathans then. Well fought, Medi. Really well fought. Very good call on keeping pulling out MiG-23s. That really really me meant that Lafans had to reconsider his uh, policy on bringing in AA and stuff. You definitely saw him have to scale that up. Obviously, a big jump in kills to losses there for Lafans, but I'm not overly surprised by the way he's been playing lately. I'm not sure quite who's been training him, but uh, hands down, I'm very impressed with how you've been playing Lafans. Really can't fault you. Though I'm still curious what you've done in the second game to deserve the comment of I have no honour. So we will see. Thanks for watching everyone. Please do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all tomorrow for the second game in this matchup.